Hello, my name is Kishwani. S K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 116. Day Day 3116, 3 is to signify the fact that we are in the 3rd edition, 3rd edition, day 116. We are going to cover the topic of permutation and combination, a topic that we already covered halfway through. Today is the 6th video in the series of 10. If you are interested in watching the first four, first 5 videos on the topic of permutations versus combinations, watch day number 96 through 100, day 3096 to 3100, which is where we did the first 5 parts. In the next five parts, starting from today, 6 through 10, we will do the problems, we will do the problems that appear on page number 321, the data analysis exercise. So here's problem number 6, this is from page number 321 as I just said, problem number 6, and the question says, in how many different, in how many different ways, can the letters can the letters in the word study be ordered? In how many different ways can the words in the can the letters in the word study be ordered? But before you worry about study which has five letters in it. Let's do something a little bit simpler. Let's talk about the word rad. In how many different different ways can the letters in the word rad be ordered? The very first thing you have to understand here is that it says the word can be, you're going to put it in the capital letter so, it, so that we can emphasize it, ordered. Is it combination or permutation? Clearly here, order matters order matters and therefore therefore we are dealing with it we're dealing with what Perm permutations we're dealing with permutations here how many different permutations are possible if you have three objects in this case r a and t think of this as three people richard anthony and uh, thomas and we are deciding uh, how many different ways can we assign them different jobs? The job of a president, vice president, and treasury. Think of it this way, if you like. In which case, the order matters, of course. Of course, it matters. So the first one here is, as it exists, R, A, and T. Richard is the president. Anthony is the vice president. Thomas is the treasurer. Or we can put Richard in the top again, and then switch the other two. And these two are two different permutations. Or we can put Anthony to be the president and then Richard and Thomas, or Thomas and Richard. Or, we can put Thomas as the president, and Anthony and Richard as vice president and treasurer, or the other way around. As you can see, there are six different possibilities. But we don't actually have to enumerate them like we did here, because sometimes the next one that we're going to do, study, will be there forever with the five letters. We don't have to enumerate them, there is a faster way. What's the faster way? faster way simply to ask ourselves. There are three positions here and the positions matter because it's a matter of order. The first position, second position, third position. Think of this as the first prize, second prize, and third prize. How many different ways can we give out the first prize? There are three people. There are three different people. How many different ways can we give first prize? Obviously there are three people. After we have given the first prize, how many different ways can we give our second prize? Well, there are two people only left. And finally, whoever is left the third person, there is only one way to assign the third place third prize to the person whoever is left. As you can clearly see, there are six different permutations as we see here. But in the case of study, with the word study, we're not going to enumerate them. We're not going to make a list of them. Because that will take forever and ever. So let's do it this way. So there are now there are five. There are five objects. S, T, U, D, and Y. We have to arrange them where order matters. It's not a combination. So, there are five of them. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. 
How many different ways can we assign in the first place? Well, there are five choices. We can find any one of these five people who sit in the first spot. The spots have significance. Think of this as first position, second position, so on and so forth. How many different ways can we give out second prize? Well, after we give out the first prize, there are only four people left. How many different ways can we give out a third prize? Three ways, and then the two ways, and then the one way. There you go, there is our answer. Five times two is ten, and four times three is twelve, so twelve times ten is one hundred and twenty. There are hundred and twenty different ways that the, that the words in the letter study can be ordered. Can be ordered. That was it. That was for number six. Let's look at number number seven. Let's look at number seven. In number seven, we are told that we have a person by the name of Martha. Martha, we are told, goes to the movies. Not to the movies, goes to movies. Goes to watch a movie. With four of her friends. So there are five people all together going to movies. There are five people all together going to movies, and they're going to sit in five seats. There are five seats here, right here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. But the condition here is that the condition is that Martha, Martha, refuses to sit in the middle. She said, "No, I don't want to sit in the middle." Or rather, Martha insists on sitting in the middle. Is that what it says? How many different ways is Martha sitting in the middle? Martha insists, not refuses rather. Martha insists. I don't know how to spell insist. Insists. I hope it's, I spell it correctly. Martha is hell-bent on sitting in the middle. If that's the case, how many different ways can these people sit? How many different ways can these five people sit if one person, in this case Martha, says that I have to sit in the middle, I want to sit in the middle. Let's see what we can do. So, always, whatever the condition is, start with that condition first. Martha insists on sitting in the middle, here's the middle seat, how many different ways can we fill this seat? Only one way, because that's where the Martha is going to sit. That's it, that's where Martha is going to sit. The rest is the same as before. How many different ways we can fill out the first seat? Four different ways because there are four people. How many different ways can we fill out the second seat? Three ways. How many different ways can we fill out the seat uh, uh, after that? Two ways. And finally the last seat. That's all. Four times three is twelve and times two is twenty-four. So there are twenty-four ways, twenty-four ways that we can arrange people such that Martha always sits in the middle. Let's call this thing that we just did here, this was problem number 7, let's call this, this problem that we just did 7a. Let's do the next problem, let's do the next problem 7b. Again, same continuation, Martha goes to the movies with four of her friends and this time, this time they sit randomly, they sit in a random fashion, they sit in a random fashion. In other words, if seats are assigned, they're just random assignment. Whoever just go there, goes there and takes a seat, whichever seat they want. They're sitting in a random fashion, in an entirely random fashion. The question simply is, what are the odds, what are the odds that Martha ends up in the middle, in the middle seat, in the middle seat. But we just found out there were 24 different ways where Martha can end up in the middle seat. There are 24 different permutations. And we also knew from the first, the first problem, problem number six when we, did, when we did the word study, which had five letters in it, which is exactly what we're dealing with here, five people, we knew that there are 120 ways, 120 different permutation to arrange the letters in this 35, which is the same thing as saying it here. There are five people here, and therefore there are 120 ways that we can 
flip those people. There are 120 different arrangements, permutations that is where order matters. 120 ways. 120 is 12 times 10. There are 24 ways where Martha is going to sit in the middle. So the top represents the fact that Martha, Martha is in the middle. Is in is in the middle. And the bottom is the total total ways. Total ways 120. 24 goes into 12 two times, so there is 20% chance. If they were to sit entirely in a random fashion, then there is a 20% chance, one out of five times, she will end up in the middle, even if she doesn't insist on it. Let's do one more. 7C. 7C. Again, same thing. Marta is going to the movies with four of her friends. And this time, this time we are back to the condition where Martha refuses to sit. She refuses to sit on either ends. How many different ways can we sit, people? If she says, "I don't, I don't care where you, where I sit," she said, "I don't care where I sit. I just don't want to sit in, the, in, in either of the ends. I want to have friends on." To, to on both of my left hand and right hand so I can talk to people. I don't want to be in the corner where I only have one person on one side. I don't want to sit in the, I don't want to sit in the end seat, she says. I'll give you five seconds. Why don't you do it yourself? I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do the problem yourself and then compare your work against the work that we are about to do in a few seconds time, okay? So, here we go, five different five different places, one, two, three, four, and five. Again, start with the conditions first. Start with the conditions. She refuses to sit on either ends, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take care of the ends first. How many different ways can we fill up this end? How many different ways? There are five people there, so there are five ways we can fill up this end. The answer is no. No, we do not have five choices because Martha doesn't want to, doesn't want to sit in the, in the end. She refuses, so we only have four choices. After we fill up this end, let's go to that end. How many ways, different ways can we fill up this, this end? Well, Martha doesn't want to sit here. One person is already sitting here. That leaves us with three people. There were five people all together. One of them is already here. Martha doesn't want to go. Martha doesn't want to go here. That leaves us with three choices. Now we do the rest. So now there are three people left. There are three ways we can fill up this part. There are two ways we can fill up this part. And there is just one way we can fill up that part. That's all, that's all it was. As long as you go systematically, logically, calmly, collectively, you'll be fine. So let's see what we can do here. Anything we can do here? 3 times 3 is 9 and 4 times 2 is 8. 8 nines are 72. How do I know that 8 nines are 72? Or 9 eights are 72? How do I know that 9 eights are 72? Because I know that 10 eights, I'm very bright, I know that 10 eights would be 80. So if I only had 9 8s, it would be 80 minus 8, 72. Yes, that last bit was the bonus bit, wasn't it? I bet you you never expected to learn such words to wisdom at the end. Greet you. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.